how to use BigCommerce for first timers. Hey guys, welcome back to the YouTube channel. In this video, I'm going to be showing you how you can get started with BigCommerce as an absolute beginner. So this is going to be a very easy step-by-step -step tutorial for you to get started with BigCommerce. So let's get into it. Now, the first thing that you're going to do is you're going to just click on start your free trial and make sure you're on the essentials version. So sometimes when you go onto the BigCommerce website, you might be on the enterprise version. You're just going to select essentials over here. Once you do that, you're just going to click on start your free trial. Over here, you're just going to input your email address. So whatever your email address is, you're going to input that. Then you're going to enter your basic information. So any kind of store name that you want. So let's say I want Jane's clothing. Then you're going to add the password that you want to use for your account. So it could be any password that you are using. So we're just going to add a password and once you do that you're going to enter your first name and last name you're going to enter the size of your online business so i haven't started selling yet you can enter that or if you already have a established business you can enter your profits accordingly because uh this will give you a better experience on the big commerce platform and then you're just going to enter your phone number over here and then your online store is being created so this is going to just take a couple of seconds once this is done we're just going to log into our account so i'm just going to enter my email address i'm going to enter that and i'm going to enter my password that i use and i'm just going to click on log in so i have logged on to my big commerce account so this is going to be your basic account this is going to be the dashboard and from here you can expand this menu as well so in this menu you can first off you have your view store button where you can view your actual store that you have created right now obviously we haven't created our store so this is just like a sample that they're showing but other than that this is your home page below that you have your orders you have products you have customers so these are like the three basic pillars of your store then you have your storefront marketing analytics channel manager applications then you have your store setup advanced settings and server settings account settings and all that stuff so the first thing that you're going to do is you're going to build your online store because that is the most essential part so for that what you're going to do is you're going to click on storefront over here and from here, you can browse the different themes that are available and start editing your store. So let's click on browse themes over here. And now you can browse the marketplace for different themes. So there are quite a few different themes that you can choose from. I'm just going to use the Walt Cool theme and I'm going to click on add theme. I'm going to click on apply now i'm going to click on confirm and just like that our little theme has been added now once your theme has been added you're just going to click on customize and then this will lead you to the big commerce website editor or store editor and from here you're actually going to start editing your store so you can see this is like the basic theme that has been applied the first thing i'm going to do is i am going to actually go on to the layers there's like a lot of stuff in here so i want to simplify the design first so this is the home page and there's only one navigation page right now so i'm just going to do and what i'm going to do is i'm going to scroll over here and i think i might want to first off add some basic text i'm going to add some welcome text just like that and obviously from the left you have your panel to customize this text accordingly so you can customize it however you want then you're going to go back then you can just go on to your widgets and then you can add more widgets as you go so let's say i want to add my images over here i'm going to drag and drop the image section and I'm just going to upload image. I'm going to click on upload or you can just search for an image URL so you can copy the URL of an image. I'm going to leave it with this kind of just basic standard kind of image and you can just leave it at that. Now to actually create new pages. So this is like your template basic page. How do you go on about to create new pages? Well, you're going to click on this drop down menu and you're going to click on create new page and you're going to name the page for whatever you want. So let's say I want to name this products and you're going to add the parent page so there is no parent page and you want to show this on the navigation menu you're going to click on create page and you can see that our new page is being created so we're just going to wait for that to load on our preview section it might take a couple of seconds now you can see over here this is the product section it has been loaded and on your product section so you can drag and drop this product widget 
you're just going to drag and drop it over here and then you can see over here our product has been added now to add your actual products you can actually go back into your dashboard and i'm going to show you how to add products from there but for now we're just going to click on publish over here publish and we're going to leave it at that and we're going to go back into the actual dashboard to see how do you other than the basic website editor i'm pretty sure you have like a know-how of how website editors work because it's pretty simple and intuitive it's a drag and drop system how do you actually like uh navigate through the website or manage your website from the dashboard well once you have saved all of this you're just going to go back into your big commerce account so now we're back on our Big commerce account and how do you add product so if this is our store currently like i just didn't add anything if i go into the product section i have just this empty little product how do i add actual products well for that what you're going to do is you're going to click on the product section you're going to click on add over here and then you're just going to click on these names so you're going to fill out this sample photo so let's say this is like a black dress and you can add if this is a physical product if this is a digital product you can add a sku number you can add the brand if you have separate brands and you can also add what kind of category you want this to be in all those different sections so after you've added all of that you're going to add the price you want the weight this has then you have your basic information like uh, the shipping information you're going to add that as well and now my product has been saved so once my product has been saved i can actually view it on my website so this is currently visible on my storefront if i go onto the shop section over here and if i go on to view all brands i'm pretty sure that i'm going to be able to find it somewhere around here like this is just like a demo product so it's going to take a while but this is how you add your products without having to actually go on to your website editor so you can see over here once your website is live you're going to get your analytics from here as well so on your home section you have the visits you have the conversion rate so the conversion rate is basically how many people uh, that visit your website actually end up purchasing products then you have your orders you have your revenue so you can monitor a lot of your basic analytics right from your home section as well so big commerce has really simplified the overall process of creating like a e-commerce storefront uh i think most people can now understand how to get started with the big commerce platform and how to create your own professional e-commerce store now big commerce is great but it is not available for free so they start at 29 and 95 cents per month on their standard version going upwards of almost $300 per month for their pro version but they have a lot of different features available depending on the price point you go for and on the standard version uh, you can sell on marketplaces social media you have over 55 integrated payment tools simplified shipping hosting and security advanced seo app marketplaces digital wallets coupons discounts and multi-currency so overall big commerce is pretty good it's like a pretty good deal for anyone looking to create a very professional looking storefront so i would recommend it for any small businesses starting out and if you have the money if you have 30 dollars to spare in your business revenue every month then i would suggest trying out big commerce make sure to leave a like and subscribe to the youtube channel and if you have any questions leave them in the comment box down below and i will catch you guys in the next video